Hey guys, it's Reptile Day 90 here, and uh, I've got a huge uh, reptile update for you guys. I haven't made a vid in a while, but this should uh, make up for that. So since my last video, I've got eight new additions, and a lot of new things have just been happening. What you're looking at right now is actually a reptile rack. We went out today and bought 55 bins. This is not even all of them. There's still like 25 more to go. Um, and then, so I guess I'll start with the uh, new stuff, and then I'll move on to new reptiles. So here's the rack. It was, we actually bought it. We didn't get it custom built. And it's got a dimmer switch on it. Um, it's got heat tape, and heat tape is not sold in Canada. Um, so it's pretty cool that we got it already, um, there for ship and stuff. Um, it's 11 inch heat tape that goes all the way down, all the way down from the top to the bottom. It's not plugged in right now. Um, so we've got the, my male, first male leopard gecko flip. He's doing fantastic. Um, like always, he hasn't been eating for a little while, which is getting me a little bit worried, but he's not losing weight or gaining weight, so as long as he's not losing, I'm happy. Um, then we've got Amy, whom I have... Oh, she's sleeping right now. I'll show you guys her. Yeah, this is her set setup. It's um, just simple. Um, a little bit more elaborate than the other ones, but... Anyway, let's see. She's in her moist hide right now. So there she is. She's a hypotendrine carrot tail. Um, she'll be breeding next season for us. She got a bit by a cricket on her eyelid, which is... So I put some sterile saline solution on it. For about a week and that helps so that stuff rocks but yeah she's a real beauty um yep yeah, she's eating also really well now she was ovulating for a while so she wasn't eating but she's better now um okay so that was her um then we've got erwin bearded dragon he's doing fantastic i mean he eats everything he's getting he comes out now every night just sleeps on my uh shoulder while we watch TV or something like that. Eats his salad well. Today he hasn't for some reason. Um, but I just recently gave him a sandbox. And um, and as you can see, he's been <laughs> digging in it. He's making a mess. But he was originally on ground walnut shells. And he likes to dig, but he was also getting... I didn't want the danger, so now he's got the best of both worlds. Um, yep. That's him. Good boy. Uh, now we've got the, my one of my other female leopard geckos that is laying eggs right now. Uh, here's her enclosure. It did actually just have a basal tub and um, moist hide and water dish and gallison dish, but a few nights ago I made it a bit more elaborate. It was just some leftover supplies that I had. There she is. She's a chocolate tremper albino. Uh, she is laying eggs right now. Um, they're infertile, unfortunately, because she we, she wasn't bred. She was um, bullied before we got her by another female tank mate. Um, so she's laying eggs due to stress, but hopefully she'll stop soon. She's laid about six or seven eggs for us, which really sucks because it's really, um, you know, dulling her out. But she'll get through it. Beep, beep, beep. Boop, boop. Oh, yeah, so that's her setup. And now I've got Stony, the um, first Gargo gecko I got. He's right there. I don't want to take him out because he's not too fond of it. And it's, you know, it's the middle of the day. But uh, he's in there. He's just got, you know, Critter Creeper. He's going to be upgraded very shortly. And then he eats Crested Gecko Diet and Gargo Gecko Diet. So, yeah. We can't forget uh, <laughs> Geronimo. The Crested Gecko. Oh, where are we? Yeah, I've got a lock just to. Cats, we're getting So there he is, he's right here. He's doing great. Um, He, he was eating for, not eating for a long time, but he was just shedding. And now he's eating all his crusty gecko diet. So yeah, there's Geronimo. He's, he was my second reptile I ever had.
Yeah, I don't want to make this video too long, but um, now I guess I'll move on to the eight new reptiles. Yep. Okay, so I'll start with the breeding trio of gargoyle geckos. We got these guys for $330. There is um, a female right there that's Amber, and she is a reticulated. She's right here. Um, and we've got Butter, who is another female, which is, who is underneath her. And I can't really see her, but, um, and then we've got Eeyore. He is our male in here, who is a striped, and they are going to create beautiful babies for us. We've got their lay box back there. Um, where are you? He's right on this. Sorry if I don't, um, this isn't the best video, I just don't want to really, really disturb them. So yeah, that was Eeyore, and the three gargoyle geckos. So yeah, that's him. His name's Eeyore. That's what the guy we got him from named him, and I want to you know, keep respect to him. Yeah, so he's got two females in the tank. Don't worry, the tank will be upgraded. Really. The tank will be upgraded. But right now, these guys are together, and they're eating fine, doing their good business and all. Anyway, I'll get out one of the females. Okay, this is Butter. Um, she is 68 grams, and she was just in the lay box and just sleeping. I don't know if she's going to jump. But yeah, she is a reticulated female. Um, really nice colors and a really cool pattern. And you'll see the difference between her and another reticulated I've got. She's the biggest of them all. And it's 60, that's 68 grams. So, yeah. She's also the... Well, her and you are about the same level of tameness, if you want to say that. But, um, I'll go get out the last female of the gargoyle geckos and move on to the other species. Okay, this is the other female, Amber. Um, she is 65 grams. And the jumpiest of them all. And so, um, I don't want to keep her out for too long because she is really stressed. I don't like doing that, since she's got eggs in her as well. Um, but yeah, she's also articulated, and you can see the difference in pattern. And then put them back. Um, and now I've got some awesome guys to show you. These are three of the relatively new um, leopard geckos. We've got a here we go. We've got an albino sun glow right here. We've got a hypotandrine carrot tail right here. And then the beauty of all is the, uh, ooh, is the, um, Calico Firefox. He's shedding right now. You can see his head, but he's, that's all. The colors on him. It's just spectacular. And these guys, all three of them, each one was 130, I think. And so you add it up. But yeah, they've got a more basic setup, as you see. Um... And another uh, female that is laying beautiful eggs for us. She's a blazing blizzard. She's laying beautiful eggs. She was bred too early. Like, we didn't breed her, but she was bred at 38 grams. Um, she's able to pass the eggs, thankfully. But the thing is, she's sh laying on the warm side. So we've got an egg in the incubator right now that we hopefully caught in time. But here she's got her mealworms and calcium mess in her lay box. And just a regular old base cell container. Yeah, this is a blazing blizzard, and she's a beautiful, beautiful girl. She's got a eclipse eye and a snake eye, so it's on each side, so it's really, really cool. Um, yeah. Well, and here's the newest edition. Still a teeny, uh, tiny baby, like maybe a three weeks old or so. Um, a bubblegum albino leopard gecko. Um, it's actually a really new morph, $150 for this beauty. Um, it's 
two albinos mixed together, you can see it's Bell because of the eyes. Um, and I know that's not good, but you can see that it's absolutely beautiful gecko. And of course, I would be, if I ever, ever bred it, I would only breed it to another bubblegum albino, if I ever breed them. Um, so, you can see the pattern. Okay. So, yeah. Really neat. I try not to handle him too much. He's just, again, just got a basic setup. Um, one of the newer editions. So yeah, those are the eight new reptiles. Of course, I've had to get a bigger bin. I'm going through about, I'm going through about, oh, what is it, 300 crickets, about uh, 300 crickets in a, one week, a week and a half. So I've got a bigger bin for larger crickets for the larger adults and a bin for the smaller crickets for the younger ones. Um, I have, I have had one more, but. Um, my sister gave it to my sister. It's Willard. He's a Murphy Paddenless. Um, and he's a beautiful guy. He was what was bred with Rusty over here. Um, so we've got one egg in the incubator. And, you know, that's it. It's a... Sorry if it's a long video, but... I wanted to give you guys a update on everything. <coughs> yeah, here's what a medium I use. is perlite. For the, uh, incubator. And supplies and stuff um so thanks for watching guys i hope i didn't forget anything um and rate comment and subscribe i'll see you guys again as soon as i can bye bye